no one really believes that celebrities have it hard. Then again, there are downsides to fame, like having your every move scrutinized. From A-listers to pop stars, here are some embarrassing moments from the past year they'd like to erase. Kevin Costner's first divorce cost him plenty. When he and his first wife, Cindy Silva, split, there was no prenup, resulting in Silva exiting their 16-year marriage with a reported $80 million payout. By Costner's second marriage, he'd learned his lesson. When he tied the knot with Christine Baumgartner in 2004, there was a prenuptial agreement in place. That, however, didn't make their split less messy when she filed for divorce in May 2023. The first bone of contention was who would leave their $45 million Santa Barbara mansion. Baumgartner did, but only after weeks of legal wrangling. Then there was the matter of who was paying her bills. Costner discovered it was him, learning she charged thousands on his credit card. It's a horrible place to be, but this is where we're at. Through it all, every legal filing played out in the press, including her demand for nearly a quarter million dollars per month in child support. The divorce was ultimately settled in August. The judge sided with Costner, who agreed to pay her $64,000 per month instead of the $248,000 she was seeking. Back in 2016, Gwyneth Paltrow took her kids on a skiing trip to Utah when she collided with another skier. Three years later, that skier, Terry Sanderson, sued Paltrow for $3.1 million. Sanderson claimed Paltrow crashed into him from behind, leaving him with four broken ribs and a brain injury that lessened his quality of life. Never been hit that hard, and I'm flying. I'm absolutely flying." Paltrow responded with a countersuit, claiming that it was, in fact, Sanderson who hit her from behind. Her suit asked for just a single symbolic dollar. The proceedings were filmed and live-streamed, and those who watched quickly realized this was no run-of-the-mill trial. As addictive as any episode of Law & Order, viewers experienced an absolute bounty of courtroom theatrics and dramatic moments. For example, Sanderson at one point compared Paltrow to billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, while Paltrow bantered with Sanderson's starstruck attorney. Paltrow's lawyer, on the other hand, regaled the jury with a slideshow taken from Sanderson's social media in the years since the accident. The images included a seemingly endless stream of happy vacation photos that contradicted Sanderson's contention that his alleged brain injury had ruined his life. The jury ultimately ruled for Paltrow, who became $1 wealthier when the verdict declared she was not at fault for the collision. After it was all over, she whispered to Sanderson, "'I wish you well.'" You've got to hand it to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie for taking an awful situation and dragging it out for years. Despite splitting up in 2016, the Brangelina divorce remained unfinalized in 2023 and actually took an even uglier turn. At the center of their squabble was Chateau Miraval, a villa in the French countryside that also hosts a successful vineyard and winery valued at $160 million. In 2021, Jolie sold off her shares in the winery to Tanite Del Mondo, a subsidiary of Stolichnia Vodka. Pitt filed suit, claiming his ex was not permitted to sell her portion of the winery without his permission, which he absolutely didn't offer. Making matters even nastier were reports that Pitt had previously attempted to buy Jolie's shares. According to Us Weekly, Jolie rebuffed his offer, refusing to sell to him for no reason other than spite. Pitt was passionate about the winery, the source said, and became devastated when Jolie violated his legal right of first refusal when she sold her portion out from under him. By the end of 2023, the case remained far from settled. In March, Jonah Hill and his girlfriend, Olivia Miller, sparked engagement rumors when they were spotted wearing what appeared to be wedding rings. Soon after, it was reported they were expecting a baby, which arrived a few months later. Shortly after the baby news was made public, Hill's ex-girlfriend, Sarah Brady, took to social media to make some scandalous allegations about her ex. Brady wrote on her Instagram story, I think fame can put people in an echo chamber of viewpoints, which can enable emotionally abusive behavior. Brady also included screenshots of texts purported to be from Hill. In one, Hill chastised her for going surfing with male surfers and criticized her boundaryless inappropriate friendships with men. He also scolded her for posting sexual pictures of herself on social media, including photos of her in a bathing suit. According to Brady, these were all part of a lengthy list of rules Hill set forth regarding what she could and couldn't post. In a subsequent Instagram story, Brady revealed that she was bipolar and had been involuntarily admitted to the psychiatric ward of a Hawaii hospital. When Lisa Marie Presley died unexpectedly at age 54 in January, it kicked off an ugly legal battle between Elvis's ex-wife, Priscilla, and her granddaughter, Riley Keough.
Our heart is broken, Lisa. We all love you. The issue had to do with the living trust Lisa Marie amended in 2016, which removed her mother and placed her two adult children, Riley and Benjamin Keough, as co-trustees in the event of her death. When Benjamin took his own life in 2020, Riley was left as the sole trustee. She's so level-headed. After Lisa Marie's death, Priscilla sued Riley, questioning the validity of that amended trust. At the time, a source told Entertainment Tonight that Riley was deeply upset, as the last thing she wanted to be dealing with was the family drama. In May 2023, the New York Times reported that a settlement had been reached, with Riley paying her grandmother $1 million while remaining sole trustee. In addition, she also agreed to pay her grandmother's legal fees, which were approximately $400,000. The court filing read, in settling the claims pending in Priscilla's petition, the parties are saving significant legal fees by avoiding litigation, and they are likewise avoiding the spectacle of intra-family litigation that would have been inimical to Lisa's wishes and not in the best interests of the family. In August, NBC News reported that Lizzo was hit with a lawsuit filed by three of her backing dancers, and the details were salacious. According to the suit, Lizzo created a hostile work environment while also subjecting the dancers to sexual harassment. One dancer claimed that Lizzo enticed her to touch a naked performer at an Amsterdam nightclub. Meanwhile, the suit also alleged that Lizzo fat shamed one dancer by focusing on her recent weight gain. This was like supposed to be like my dream job and it turned into a nightmare. The dancer's lawyer, Ron Zambrano, said in a statement, The stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. While privately, she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal but absolutely demoralizing. Lizzo, however, denied everything. She said in a statement via Instagram, Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. Furthermore, Lizzo fired back at the dancers with some accusations of her own, writing, These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. In October, Lizzo's lawyers asked the court to dismiss the dancers' suit, slamming the allegations as a fabricated sob story intended to nab a quick payday, according to Rolling Stone. In February 2023, Jonathan Majors became the breakout star of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. The following month, just as he was basking in all the attention from his Marvel role, he was arrested in New York City, charged with assault over what was initially characterized as a domestic dispute. Majors' lawyer immediately declared that not only was the actor completely blameless, but that he was the one who had been victimized. The actor's lawyer said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is probably the victim of an altercation with the woman he knows. All the evidence proves that Mr. Majors is entirely innocent and did not assault her whatsoever. Despite his lawyer's claims, Majors was hit with three assault charges. He was subsequently dropped by both his PR firm and management agency. Not long after, multiple women came forward, each sharing their allegations about Majors' violence toward them. Majors then filed a domestic assault complaint against the woman he was initially accused of assaulting, claiming she was drunk and hysterical when she attacked him. In that complaint, Majors also claimed that the woman stole his iPhone and racked up nearly $7,000 on his credit card after the incident. His attempt to dismiss the charges was denied, and the case was ordered to proceed to trial. On December 18th, a Manhattan jury found Majors guilty of reckless assault and harassment. He was subsequently fired by Disney's Marvel Studios. Back in 2017, the LAPD launched an investigation into Danny Masterson. The investigation was based on the accusations of three different women who claimed the former star of that 70s show sexually assaulted them in the early 2000s. A fourth accuser subsequently came forward. Later that same year, Masterson was fired from The Ranch, his Netflix sitcom, due to the scandal. Weeks later, United Talent Agency announced it was dropping him as a client. In 2020, Masterson was charged with the rape of three women. The following year, he pled not guilty to those charges. Masterson was subsequently ordered to stand trial and, in 2022, was found guilty, convicted of two counts of rape. In September 2023, he was given a sentence of 30 years to life. As reported by the Associated Press, one of his accusers stated in her impact statement, You are pathetic, disturbed, and completely violent. The world is better off with you in prison. Previously, a source told People that Masterson's wife, Bijou Phillips, would continue to stand by him and had no plans of leaving him over his conviction. Shortly after his sentencing, however, Phillips filed for divorce. 
Back in the day, Russell Brand was best known as a provocative comedian with a promising film career that included hits like Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the Greek. In recent years, however, Brand began distancing himself from the mainstream. As a result, he began communicating with fans through social media. He also started to espouse controversial opinions and even became a darling of the alt-right. In mid-September, Brand issued a YouTube video on his channel in which he vaguely alluded to some charges about to be launched against him, saying, but amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. The relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. The following day, those allegations came to light in a joint investigation from The Times, The Sunday Times, and Channel 4's Dispatcher series, with multiple women claiming to have been sexually assaulted by Brand. That investigation led other women to come forward, sharing similar allegations. Based on those allegations, Scotland Yard launched a criminal investigation. As a result, Brand's UK comedy tour was immediately postponed. As of late 2023, no criminal charges have been filed. Colleen Ballinger hit it big on YouTube with her quirky character Miranda Sings. In 2020, she faced several allegations of inappropriate dealings with underage fans, which eventually blew over after she addressed the controversy in a lengthy YouTube video. In 2023, however, fresh allegations emerged in a HuffPost report. Several of Ballinger's fans were interviewed in the report, and they claimed she'd groomed them when they were minors. In addition, Ballinger's ex-husband alleged she spread lies about him to her fans so they would attack him on social media. She responded with a song posted on YouTube, in which she sang about a toxic gossip train while playing a ukulele. While the response was met with anger and outrage on social media, a former writer's assistant from her Netflix series, Haters Back Off, wrote about racist behavior that Ballinger displayed while working on the show. In a blog post, April Corto Quio wrote that Ballinger complained that people of color in a background scene were distracting and insisted that a store where they were filming remove the Asian sh Quio also wrote, she saw no issue with commenting on my hair or my clothes or asking about my personal life. Her lack of boundaries was remarkable. Further controversy emerged when underage fans claimed that she'd sent them naked photos of YouTuber Trisha Paytas, with whom Ballinger had recently launched a podcast. When the dust settled, Ballinger's podcast and stage tour were canceled. Joe Jonas and Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner wed in 2019 and eventually became the parents of two young daughters. By September 2023, it was all over when Jonas filed for divorce. As Today reported, the divorce filing stated that the marriage between the parties is irretrievably broken. Weeks later, Turner fired back with a lawsuit, claiming that Jonas had wrongfully detained their children. As reported by People, the filing read, he refuses to return the passports to the mother and refuses to send the children home to England with the mother. Jonas responded through his lawyers, denying reports that Turner had been blindsided by his divorce filing. They subsequently came to terms on the custody of their daughters, with Turner agreeing that the kids could temporarily remain in New York City. This was followed by a temporary custody agreement that would extend through early 2024. They later issued a joint statement, which said, after a productive and successful mediation, we have agreed that the children will spend time equally in loving homes in both the U.S. and the U.K. We look forward to being great co-parents. It's about protecting what um, you keep close to your heart. Justin Roiland ascended to geek royalty with the success of Rick and Morty, the hilariously edgy cartoon he co-created with Dan Harmon. In 2017, the duo experienced an unheard of vote of confidence when Cartoon Network ordered an unprecedented 70 episodes. It all came crashing down in early 2023, when Roiland was charged with felony domestic battery and false imprisonment over a 2020 incident involving a woman he was dating. He entered a plea of not guilty. Shortly after, Roiland was fired from his own show. A few months later, all charges were dropped when prosecutors admitted they weren't able to find enough evidence to convince a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. Roiland wrote on X, I have always known that these claims were false, and I never had any doubt that this day would come. However, his exoneration was short-lived. In September, NBC News published a shocking expose in which female fans detailed social media encounters they had with Roiland when they were underage. The piece also alleged that he used the term jailbait to refer to these girls. The most damning allegation, however, came from a 20-year-old woman he met on Tinder, who claimed that he demanded she perform oral sex on him. When the woman refused, he just kept pressing until she finally relented. When Roiland's lawyer was asked by Variety for his response to the woman's allegations of sexual assault, he referred the outlet to Roiland's earlier tweet. 
Britney Spears had plenty to celebrate when a judge ended her controversial conservatorship in November 2021. Shortly after, in the summer of 2022, the pop star married boyfriend Sam Asghari in a lavish ceremony. That marriage, like her two previous ones, was not a lengthy one. Approximately 14 months after their nuptials, Asghari pulled the plug by filing for divorce. A source told NBC News at the time, they're separated and it's best for Britney. As TMZ reported, Asghari was seeking spousal support and suggested he might attempt to challenge the prenup that he'd signed. But as the outlet wisely pointed out, that wasn't because he wanted to take the matter to court, but because he was hoping she would write him a big check to make it go away. In the caption for an Instagram video, Spears indicated she was surprised by his divorce filing, writing, "'Six years is a long time to be with someone, so I'm a little shocked.'" While she didn't go into detail about what facilitated their split, she did make cryptic comments that hinted she was more relieved than shattered by their breakup, writing, "'I'm not here to explain why because it's honestly nobody's business, but I couldn't take the pain anymore honestly. I just want to be a happy person." Sean Diddy Combs had been dating singer Cassie, also known as Cassandra Ventura, for more than a decade when they split up in 2018. Fast forward to November 2023, when Cassie sued her ex. As Deadline reported, among her many allegations was that Combs viciously and repeatedly beat her, raped her, psychologically abused her, and blew up rapper Kid Cudi's car upon learning he had a romantic interest in her. Her suit also accused Combs of sex trafficking and claimed he'd offered an eight-figure sum in exchange for not filing her lawsuit. Combs's attorney, Benjamin Brathman, denied all the accusations and alleged that Ventura had been demanding Combs pay her a staggering $30 million to prevent her from writing a tell-all book. Blasting that attempt as blatant blackmail, Brathman added, Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs's reputation and seeking a payday. Despite that bravado, Combs settled the suit shortly after. He said in a statement to Deadline, we have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE. That's 1-800-656-4673.